all right? Really relax and without, without even exaggerating, just start throwing in a punch. Now, my teacher used to say, when you can hear the wall going in with a deeper sound, that means your punch is penetrating better, right? Now, what I don't do, which people misunderstand for some reason, is I never clench my fist, I never hold it tight, okay? And as this video progresses, you'll understand. But basically speaking, just taking off elbow, right, helps me understand one functionality. Now, there's another very important thing. When I, uh, when I strike into the wall, I've got to learn to relax my knees. All right. Now, even though we can't see my knees in this video, it doesn't matter. The important thing is, is that when we punch, all right, and I show it to you this way, then we must not do this, extend my leg to punch, extend my leg to punch, even in a forward position. I don't want to extend or push with my thigh muscles, you know, because then that means I'm forcing my spinal column and my legs create pressure but then when I push in one area that means I'm trying to take its space think about it it's like me pushing a car right so I'm going to get a rebound effect so one good thing to do is and I'll get away from uh, so you can see my knees uh, when I throw a punch right I want to make sure that my knees are relaxing so on impact I don't want to feel any type of rigidity. If you learn to really relax and listen to your body, you'll start feeling um, vibrations in the tailbone and in the lumbar region of the spine.